Tracking your forecast, I'm Chief Meteorologist Amber Sellins, and our freeze warnings may be over, but we are in for another cold night across the valley. In fact, every single valley neighborhood dipping back down into the 30s by sunrise tomorrow morning. At this point, it does look like all of us, though, will stay above that freezing point of 32 degrees. So here's your valley planner tomorrow, 39 in Phoenix at 6 a.m., 43 at 9 o'clock in the morning, and by lunchtime, we'll be in the upper 50s. Temperatures then going up into the low 60s tomorrow afternoon. Noon, a little bit warmer than today, but still several degrees below the normal, which is 69 for this time of year. We're also going to be picking up winds throughout the day tomorrow. Winds shifting out of the north, getting breezy here in the valley with gusts at 25 miles per hour and getting even stronger in western Arizona, specifically along the Colorado River Valley, where we could see gusts at 35 miles per hour as they pick up speed racing downhill into the river valley. So Bullhead City, like Havasu City, that's where we expect our strongest winds to be tomorrow. Here's future cast. Six o'clock in the morning already pretty breezy in those spots tomorrow with those winds picking up even more speed throughout the day by about 10 o'clock in the morning getting breezy in Prescott, Sedona, Flagstaff and Payson too. Valley breezes for us in the afternoon. It's picking up here and down in Casa Grande and Tucson with 10 to 15 mile per hour winds in the forecast along the I-10 corridor between the valley and the old Pueblo. Now for tomorrow, we're going to start the day in the 20s down in Tucson, Casa Grande down to the freezing point of 32 single digit lows for Window Rock, Hebrew and Sholo and temperatures in the 40s for Bullhead City and Lake Havasu City. And with those winds picking up, we are going to have a little bit of a wind chill to deal with in many parts of our state early tomorrow morning. In the afternoon, 42 in Prescott and Sedona, 28 in Flagstaff. So Flagstaff's going to be freezing all day long. A few other spots will too. Heber, Sholo, Window Rock, and the Grand Canyon all expected to stay below the freezing point of 32 throughout the entire day tomorrow. Here's a closer look at the valley. Lows tonight for us again in the 30s, as I showed you earlier. Those highs tomorrow between about 60 and 63 in most valley locations. So again, we are gradually seeing these temperatures climb, but we will not make it up near average before the next winter storm gets here and cools us down again. That storm moving down through California this weekend and pushing into Arizona for Monday and Tuesday. So we'll see more rain and snow potential and another big blast of cold air, which will take our valley temperatures down into the 50s again by early next week.